What draws people to the haunted Myrtles Plantation in Louisiana? It's not just the beautiful architecture or rich history, it's the spine-chilling stories that have haunted this place for centuries. Myrtles Plantation, often called one of the most haunted homes in America, invites thrill-seekers and ghost enthusiasts from around the world. But what really happened here? Are the tales of restless spirits and eerie apparitions true? Let's explore the dark and mysterious history of Myrtles Plantation. Myrtles Plantation was built in 1796 by General David Bradford, a man fleeing the aftermath of the Whiskey Rebellion. This historic home, nestled in the heart of Louisiana, has witnessed a series of tragedies and mysterious events over the centuries. Bradford lived in solitude for several years before sending for his family. The plantation later changed hands, eventually being owned by the Woodruff family in the early 19th century. The house, originally named Laurel Grove, was renamed Myrtle's Plantation by the Sterling family, who purchased it in 1834. They chose the name for the creep myrtle trees that adorned the property. The plantation's history is steeped in southern charm, but beneath its elegant facade lies a tale of sorrow and intrigue. The most famous ghost story associated with Myrtle's Plantation is that of Chloe, an enslaved girl who worked for the Woodruff family. According to legend, Chloe was caught eavesdropping on the family's conversations and was punished by having her ear cut off. She wore a green turban to hide her disfigurement. Seeking revenge or perhaps out of desperation, Chloe allegedly poisoned the cake, intending to make the family ill so she could nurse them back to health and regain favor. Tragically, the plan went awry, and Sarah Mathilda Woodruff and two of her children died from the poison. In fear of retribution, the other enslaved people dragged Chloe to a nearby tree, where she was hanged. Her body was then thrown into the river. It is said that Chloe's spirit still haunts the plantation, often seen wearing her distinctive green turban. Guests and staff have reported seeing her apparition, particularly near the children's rooms and the infamous haunted mirror. Myrtle's plantation is not only haunted by Chloe but also by other restless spirits. One of the most chilling stories involves William Winter, a former owner of the plantation. In 1871, Winter was shot on the front porch by an unknown assailant. Mortally wounded, he staggered into the house and attempted to climb the stairs, collapsing and dying on the 17th step. His ghost is said to reenact these final moments, with guests reporting hearing his footsteps echoing through the house. The spirits of Sarah Mathilda's children are also believed to linger at Myrtle's plantation. Some guests have reported seeing the ghostly figures of children playing or peering out from the windows. One particularly eerie tale tells of a child's face appearing in a mirror, an image that seems to vanish as quickly as it appears. There are also reports of a Native American woman's spirit haunting the plantation grounds. It's believed that Myrtle's was built on an ancient burial ground, adding another layer to the supernatural phenomena experienced here. The spirit of this woman is often seen near a gazebo on the property, and some visitors have reported feeling an unsettling presence in that area. Myrtle's Plantation is a hotbed of paranormal activity. Guests and staff have reported a variety of strange occurrences that defy logical explanation. The haunted mirror, in particular, is a focal point for ghostly sightings. This mirror, located near the entrance, is set to capture images of spirits, including the ghostly figure of Chloe and other unidentified apparitions. Many visitors have experienced unexplained noises, such as footsteps in empty hallways, doors opening and closing by themselves, and disembodied voices. Some have felt sudden drops in temperature or a heavy, oppressive atmosphere in certain rooms. There are also accounts of beds shaking, objects moving on their own, and guests waking up to find mysterious handprints on their bodies. One particularly chilling story involves a mother who was warned by a ghostly voice to check on her baby. The voice supposedly saved the child from a potentially fatal accident. Such incidents have left guests both terrified and fascinated, with some leaving in the middle of the night, unable to handle the eerie atmosphere. Myrtle's plantation continues to be a place of mystery and intrigue, drawing in those curious about the supernatural. Its rich history, combined with the numerous reports of ghostly encounters, makes it one of the most haunted locations in America.